Hey guys, so in this part of the course, we're going to see a real world example of using ChatGPT to write an email. Now, this is probably something you're going to be using in the workplace, in a professional context. Of course, you could also use this for personal emails. But in this example, let's just imagine we're using ChatGPT to create an email to request annual leave. Now, I could spend 20, 30, email, 30 minutes crafting an email to my manager, my supervisor about getting some annual leave, or I could just go to ChatGPT, enter a prompt and get a draft email that I could just tweak and adjust to personalize it or just copy and paste it if it's perfect and I like just how it was written and then just send it, you know, in a matter of probably less than five minutes, right? As you've seen before, generating content with ChatGPT takes just a few seconds. So I'm just going to go to our ChatGPT prompts and at the bottom when you scroll down from our ChatGPT prompts link that I shared with you earlier, there is an email writing category or section. If you go there to the second, write a short email to request, enter what you want. So I'm just going to copy this, go back to ChatGPT, paste it and write a short email to request annual leave. All right. And ChatGPT here generated a very professional, short and concise email requesting annual leave. Okay, subject, dear, manager's name. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to request annual leave from. The reason for my leave is to provide a very brief explanation of the reason for the leave, such as personal commitments, vacation plans, etc. I have completed all my pending work and have arranged for someone to cover my responsibilities during my absence. I will ensure that I complete all my pending work and hand over any unfinished tasks to my colleague before I leave. Please let me know if my request for leave has been approved or if you require any further information. I will be happy to provide any additional details that you may need. Thank you for your time and consideration, sincerely, and your name. All right. So when I look at this email, now, like I mentioned, this is something that, well, in a matter of seconds, ChatGPT created this draft email for you. You can then just copy and paste it and adjust it and send it in a matter of a few seconds or a few minutes, a lot shorter than if you were writing this from scratch. Trust me, you know, anyone who's ever written an email knows that when you're sending an email to your manager with something like annual leave or things like that, it might take up, take you, you know, 20, 30 minutes to craft an email because you want to make sure you're professional, you're concise, you're respectful, you're considering other things that are happening on the job, et cetera, and so forth. And it just eats up your time, right? Chat GPT cuts down on that time, cuts down on that effort, and it helps you do the heavy lifting so that you can just copy and paste and send or copy, paste, edit a little bit and then send, right? Now, in my case, if I was using this exact, you know, email that came out of it, I'd probably adjust this to hi, Tom, or whoever the name of the manager is. I probably really like this first paragraph. I think that's fine. I complete all my pending work and have arranged for someone to cover my responsibilities during my absence. Now, this little bit here, I would probably change and adjust because I wouldn't actually talk to a colleague, you know, about covering for my vacation or my annual leave when I haven't even had my annual leave approved, right? This email is a request for me to get my annual leave approved. And then after I have the request, I would actually do this little bit here. So I would probably remove this part from the email. And, but yes, I will ensure that I complete all my pending work and hand over any unfinished tasks to um, whoever is gonna cover for me, for instance, before I leave, all right? So I would probably just adjust this second paragraph a little bit and that's it. Everything else, and instead of saying sincerely, I would probably just put kind regards just because I would never sign off as sincerely. I Like when I write an email, I would just put kind regards and then my name. That's it. So I would just make three very simple changes. Just change this little bit here to remove it. You know, dear, it sounds a little bit formal. I would just say, hi, Tom. And then I would just remove this little bit here of I have a range with someone because I actually wouldn't talk to someone until I've had my leave approved. And then I would just change this instead of sincerely from kind regards. Now, like I said, three re really quick little tweaks and 
send it's ready to go like i would do this in a matter of like probably less than five minutes so probably at least i don't know 10 15 percent or less you know like it would take me um you know 80 percent or 90 percent less of the time that it would take me to write an email like this from scratch all right and if for some reason you didn't like the outcome of this email remember that you can click this button here regenerate response and you'll get a second email right which is different to the one you saw before and you could just again if you prefer this second version to the first version or you could generate one more regenerate response and now you got a third one to choose from okay and you can go back here like we saw before and choose which of these you prefer to use for that email now we're just seeing a very simple example of writing and asking ChatGPT to write an email for us requesting annual leave. But think about it. You could use this for pretty much anything you can think of. You can use this to help you write an email to a colleague requesting an update on a task. You can use this to writing an email to management, providing a summary of a project or an update on a project. You could use this to write an email to IT to request a new laptop pretty much any type of email you can think of that before might have taken you, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30, 60 minutes to write. Now you can do it in seconds with ChatGPT by leveraging the power and harnessing the power, the creativity and the artificial intelligence that ChatGPT has under the hood to generate human-like real world, real life responses or crafting uh, things such as an email like we're seeing on this example that you can very quickly and very easily edit and then send and your manager would have no idea that you use chat gpt to create this you know and even if they did like why would that be a problem right it's just a tool it's just a technology that's helping you and it's assisting you in writing something that you wanted to write and it's probably doing it much better than you would do it on your own all right guys so i'm just gonna also copy and paste this for you in the course so you can see the prompt that we used and the outcome because i'm not going to read all of this in the video but you can just read it yourself and see the great outcome and the great result that chat gpt provides for you and like i said i'm going to copy the and paste the three versions of this draft email for you so you can read them and see the difference between them and see just how great of an outcome chat gpt provides and like I mentioned before, this is just one of a gazillion use cases that you could use ChatGPT to write emails and assist you in writing emails. I hope you enjoy this and I'm sure, I'm sure that you're going to be writing a lot of e emails with the assistance of ChatGPT now that you know you can use it for this as well. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.